Debian 10 is finally out after two years of development. Unlike other Linux distros, Debian out of the box is not absolutely ready to use. You need to activate many things manually and set up the operating system before you can even begin to use this amazing Linux distro. So what are those must do things after installing Debian 10? Let's have a look. I've been using Debian 10 Buster for two weeks now and I've played around with it extensively in the meantime. I've tinkered under the hood optimized it and customized it with themes and icon packs to look better than what we get out of the box. So in this video, we'll be having a look at the 10 things you must do after installing Debian 10. These things will activate some important functionality, improve what your operating system can do and also make the user interface look stunning. This is Linux Techs, let's do this. When you install a Debian stable release, you cannot just download and install software from either the software store or the apt package manager. No sir. You first manually need to enable the online repositories to download software from. Without doing this, the software store looks like this. I understand this seems unnecessary, even counterintuitive, but trust me, this one step greatly enhances the security of the system by many times. So to enable the online repositories, search for software in the applications and click on software and update. Check all the three boxes here. The third entry here allows you to install some non-open source software like the proprietary drivers for your NVIDIA graphics card. Click on Reload. Now we can proceed. Next, we'll be giving the desktop a nice makeover with a new theme and a wallpaper. I'm not really a fan of how Debian 10 looks out of the box, so I'm going to change things up a bit. We'll be using Numix icons as well as a Numix theme. So to download them, fire up a terminal and run this command. You can copy paste this command from the description of this video. Once this is done, open tweaks and change the application theme and icons here. You can make a lot of customization from here, so feel free to have a look around. Now we are going to change the wallpaper. I have a wallpaper here which is from Antigo's Linux. The link to download it is given in the description. You can either go with this or something that you personally like. You can even try out the default wallpapers. The collection is good there. GNOME Desktop extensions are very powerful. They have the power to change the very core of GNOME Desktop. You can personalize the desktop as well as how you interact with the computer with these extensions. GNOME extensions can be downloaded directly through the software store on Debian. So open it. You'll find the extensions in the add-on section. There are hundreds of amazing extensions here. You can browse through them. For now, we are going to get Dash to Dock. So once installed, you can make a lot of changes here. Open the settings by right clicking on the application launcher here. I'll be using this to make my desktop look like this, with the dock on the bottom of the screen. I personally love this. I picked it up from a discontinued distro called Epricity OS, which was an arch based Linux distro and looked absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, you can browse and get more extensions if you want. There are some really amazing ones here. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, then installing the proprietary drivers will give you a significant performance boost over the open source drivers. So let's do that. Installing NVIDIA drivers on Debian is not as easy as installing them on Ubuntu but it's not that difficult too. Follow through with me. Open a terminal and type su and hit enter. Put in your password. Next, run apt install. NVIDIA Detect. You can copy paste all these commands from the description of this video. Once it is installed, run NVIDIA Detect and it will detect the exact model of your GPU and tell you exactly which package you need to install. Copy the package name and run apt install and paste that package name. That's it. After the installation, do a system reboot to fire up those new drivers. Next up. We'll be enhancing the functionality of our new Debian by installing our favorite and some incredible apps. Open up the software store to get them goodies. I'll be installing VLC Media Player, GIMP, KDE Connect, Kden Live, and some other tools. You can download your apps and if you need a recommendation for more cool Linux apps, do check out my list of 15 must-have Linux applications of 2019. Browser choice is a very personal thing. There are some incredible browsers out there, each with a compelling reason to use it. But we love what we love, don't we? Firefox is already installed on Debian. You can download Chromium browser through the software store. For people who use Google Chrome, you need to download it from their official website. Let's do this. Make sure to download the .deb file.
Once it's downloaded, open it with the software store and install it. Next up, log into your account and set up your browser with your favorite extensions and password managers. Done. If you use a laptop, you might have noticed that you get better battery life on Windows than on Linux. Enter TLP. TLP is an advanced power management tool for Linux. Whenever your laptop is not connected to the charger, TLP automatically starts the TLP battery profile and this starts many battery saving initiatives. TLP is completely automatic and does not need any user interaction. It's a must-have software for laptop Linux users. You can install TLP by running su app install tlp space tlp dash rdw. Then tlp start. Copy paste the commands from the description below. You need not do anything more. TLP will auto start on computer startups and do its magic in the background. Enjoy a better battery life. Research has shown that looking at screens after evening reduces the quality of your sleep. So to overcome this, almost all the devices today come with a feature where the screen blocks the blue light emitted from it. This reduces the eye strain considerably and allows you to have a sound sleep. GNOME Desktop has this feature built in. It's called Night Light and can be enabled from Display Settings. Turn it on. Sunrise to sunset will work fine. Now the screen will start blocking blue light as the sun sets. Your eyes will be much more comfortable looking at the screen and it will also have a positive impact on the quality of your sleep. Now that your system is fully set up, it's better to make a full system backup so that you can revert back to a completely working system if you have any problem with it in the future. For this, we'll be using Timeshift. With Timeshift, even if you delete the entire OS, you can still roll back to a working system, provided you have the backup. Run this command to install it. You can copy paste it from the description. So open it up and fill in the options and let it do its thing. The complete guide to using Timeshift is linked in the description. There's no excuse for not having a backup, so don't skip this step. Well, play around your new setup. Check out the new cool wallpapers, explore the settings and make customizations that resonate with you. Next up, check out 15 Linux applications that you must have on your PC. If you like this video, do consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell icon. Well, that's it for today. This is Linux Techs, signing out.